For all that you've done, I will thank you for all that you're going to do. For all that you've promised and all that you are is all that has carried me through. Jesus, I thank you. Welcome to Bible class today. I'm so glad that you came and I'm looking forward to getting to talk to you. Today, we're going to talk about being thankful. That's why we just sang the song we sang. For all that you've done, I will thank you. This is something that's really very important that, that we need to learn from the time when we're small, like maybe you are right now. Um, when someone does something for us, we learn to say thank you to them for doing those things for us. Can you think of a time that someone did something for you? Maybe they helped you find something that you lost. Maybe your mom or your dad got you a snack that you asked for. Maybe it was your birthday and you got birthday presents. Did you remember to say thank you? Well, let's look at a story today. It comes from the Bible. And in fact, if you have your beginner's Bible, you can read along with me. This is a story about 10 people that Jesus helped. And let's see what their response was. This story is called 10 Lepers. As Jesus was traveling, he met 10 lepers. Their bodies were covered with sores. The lepers shouted, Jesus, please help us. See all those people with the bandages and everything? Leprosy was a bad disease. It caused problems. Jesus said, go, show yourselves to the priests. The ten lepers left. While they were walking away, something amazing happened. Look at them, taking off their bandages. They're getting better. All ten of them were healed. Only one man went back to say thank you to Jesus. Look at him, he's running back to thank Jesus. Because Jesus helped him. He threw himself at Jesus' feet and said, Thank you. Jesus wondered where the other men were. They did not come back to thank him. See the man? He said, Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. <clears throat> what did you see happen in our story just now? Jesus healed a bunch of lepers. Do you know how many of them there were? There were 10 lepers. That's a huge thing. Being a leper or somebody who has leprosy, it's a skin disease. It causes problems and sores and sometimes people will lose fingers and parts. Of it. It's bad. But it was very bad and that meant that people were very sick. So to be healed from their sickness, that was a big deal. Now, how many lepers again did you count? It was 10, right? Did all 10 come back and say, thank you, Jesus? No, they didn't. How many came back to say thank you? Only one. Well, this story is a good reminder to be like that one person who came back to Jesus to say, thank you. God wants us to be thankful people. To let others know that what they did for us, it meant so much to us. And the Bible says a lot about being thankful. Colossians 3 verse 15 says, let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Psalm 107 verse 1, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. So let's all remember to be like that one leper who came back and said, thank you, so that we can always be thankful to those people who do things for us. So I have a craft for you to do. This is a fun little craft. You're going to trace your hands onto a piece of paper. And you see how you end up with 10 fingers? 
Then you can draw little faces on each one of them and little hair, however you want to do it. You can decorate those to be 10 people, but only one of them comes back to say, thank you. Then you can label it the thankful leper. That will be a fun craft, and I want to see pictures. My hands are pretty big, so they take up the whole page, but yours might be smaller. So I want to sing our song one more time because it's about being thankful. Let's sing that. For all that you've done, I will thank you. For all that you're going to do. For all that you've promised and all that you are is all that has carried me through. Jesus, I thank you. I hope that you have enjoyed Bible class today, but let's close with a prayer and be thankful to God. God, we thank you so much for loving us and for taking care of us and for providing so many things for us. Uh, we love you for sending your Son especially, that he came to this world that we might be saved. Thank you for being good and thank you for loving us and thank you for forgiving us. All these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, thank you for coming to Bible class today and I hope you have a good day and I will see you again on Wednesday. Take care.